Imagine the thunderous, earth-shaking roar of a jet engine. It's a symphony of controlled explosions, a testament to modern engineering at its most powerful and awe-inspiring. This is the force that conquers gravity, hurtling hundreds of tons of metal and humanity across continents and oceans. These incredible machines, meticulously designed and built to propel aircraft at nearly the speed of sound, are now finding a surprising and vital new purpose, far from the skies they were born to rule. What if I told you that the very same technology is being used right now, on the ground, to generate the electricity that powers our modern world? Across the globe, jet engines are being repurposed to light up entire cities, run critical industries, and keep our digital lives online. Picture a bustling power plant, but instead of a massive, slow-to-start coal furnace, at its heart is the compact, powerful core of a jet engine. As it spins to life, lights flicker on in homes, hospitals, and factories miles away. It's a concept that sounds like it's straight out of science fiction, and even people on the street are amazed by the idea. The same engine that flies you on vacation could be powering their towns. Today, we'll explore exactly how these remarkable machines, known in the industry as aero-derivative gas turbines, are adapted for power generation. This isn't a futuristic fantasy. It's a proven, reliable solution being deployed by global engineering giants like GE Vernova, Siemens Energy, Mitsubishi Power, Baker Hughes, and Veracore. The name Aero Derivative says it all, derived from aerospace technology. These companies have taken the core principles of flight and grounded them in service of the grid. They've installed thousands of these jet-powered generators worldwide from dense urban centers to the most remote corners of the earth, providing reliable electricity to millions of people. The fundamental concept dates back to the very first jet engines developed in the 1940s, but today's turbines are light years ahead in efficiency, materials, and control. So, how does it work? Let's break it down, starting with the compressor, the powerful lungs of the engine. A massive volume of air is sucked into the front of the engine and forced through a series of rotating blade assemblies. Think of it as a forest of metallic wings, with each row squeezing the air more tightly, increasing its pressure over 30 times. These blades are engineering marvels, forged from advanced materials like lightweight titanium and nickel-based superalloys like Inconel 718, chosen for their incredible strength and resistance to heat and corrosion. This highly pressurized, dense air is then funneled into the combustion chamber. Here, it's mixed with a fine mist of fuel, which could be traditional Jet A1, cleaner burning natural gas, or even sustainable biofuels. Unlike a car engine's intermittent explosions, an igniter sparks a continuous controlled burn creating a torrent of extremely hot, high-pressure gas reaching temperatures hotter than volcanic lava. This superheated gas has only one way to go, out the back. It rushes with immense force through the turbine section, another set of intricate blades. The crucial difference for power generation happens here. In a plane, this exhaust creates thrust. But in a power plant, the energy is harvested differently. The first few turbine stages spin a shaft connected back to the compressor, keeping the engine running. The remaining immense energy then spins a separate, independent power turbine. This is the key adaptation. This power turbine is the workhorse. It's not creating thrust. Its sole job is to convert the gas's energy into rotational force. It's connected via a shaft to an alternator, also known as a generator. As this shaft spins at thousands of RPM, it turns a rotor inside massive coils of copper wire, generating a powerful flow of electricity through a principle called electromagnetic induction. So how does spinning a magnet inside a wire create the electricity for your home? Let's take a closer look at how a modern three-phase alternator works using a simple animated diagram. The principle, discovered by Michael Faraday, is that a changing magnetic field will induce an electric current in a nearby conductor. Inside the alternator, the spinning component, powered by our jet engine, is called the rotor. It's essentially a powerful electromagnet. The stationary part is the stator, which holds three independent sets of copper coils. These coil sets are physically arranged 120 degrees apart from each other around the rotor. As the rotor's magnetic field spins, it sweeps past each coil set in succession, inducing a separate electrical current in each one. 
Because the coils are 120 degrees apart, the three resulting AC currents are perfectly out of sync or out of phase with each other. One wave is rising as another is falling, and the third is somewhere in between. Why is this so important? Unlike single phase power, which drops to zero twice per cycle, three phase power never drops to zero. The overlapping waves deliver a smooth, constant, and reliable stream of power. Think of it like three people pushing a merry-go-round. With just one person, the push is jerky. With three pushing in perfect sequence, the rotation is smooth and powerful. This is perfect for running heavy industrial motors, data centers, hospitals, and entire city grids. One of the biggest advantages of jet power generators is their incredible speed and flexibility. They are valued for their rapid startup capability, able to go from a cold standstill to full power in a matter of minutes. This makes them ideal for so-called peaker plants, which fire up to meet sudden spikes in electricity demand, like during a heat wave when millions of air conditioners turn on at once. They also play a critical role in stabilizing the grid as we add more renewable energy, ready to fill the gap instantly when the sun sets or the wind dies down. Their compact size and power density also make these turbines essential in remote and challenging environments. They provide prime power for offshore oil and gas platforms, isolated mining operations, and forward operating military bases where building a traditional power plant would be impossible. The materials science behind these engines is breathtaking. To survive the inferno inside, turbine blades are often grown as a single metal crystal. This eliminates grain boundaries, the microscopic cracks that weaken normal metals, allowing them to withstand temperatures above 1,000 degrees Celsius and centrifugal forces thousands of times the force of gravity. Many even have intricate, laser-drilled internal channels that bleed cooler air over the surface, a film cooling technique that lets them operate in a gas stream hotter than their own melting point. Fuel flexibility is another key advantage in a changing world. Many modern turbines are dual fuel capable, able to switch seamlessly between natural gas and liquid fuels like Jet A1, depending on cost and availability. Looking to the future, manufacturers are heavily investing in turbines that can run on blends of hydrogen and natural gas, with the ultimate goal of operating on 100% green hydrogen, producing zero carbon emissions. Environmental impact is a primary design concern, Modern turbines use advanced dry low NOx combustion systems to premix fuel and air, burning it at lower temperatures to drastically reduce the formation of harmful nitrogen oxides. To maximize efficiency, many are installed in combined cycle configurations. Here, the hot exhaust gas from the jet turbine, instead of being wasted, is used to boil water and create steam. This steam then drives a steam turbine generating additional electricity and pushing overall plant efficiency above an incredible 60%. And what about the noise? The iconic roar of a jet is contained. These generators are housed within thick acoustic enclosures, engineered with layers of advanced insulation and noise dampening materials that turn that deafening roar into a manageable hum, making them suitable for installation even in populated urban and industrial environments. Because they are derived from aircraft engines, they are designed for reliability and rapid maintenance. With proper preventative care, these generators can operate for decades. Major overhauls are scheduled every 25,000 to 50,000 hours, and their modular design often allows the entire core engine to be swapped out in just a few days, minimizing downtime. While many installations are large-scale utility plants, smaller aeroderivative turbines are increasingly common. These compact, often containerized units are perfect for providing reliable power to industrial parks, large university campuses, data centers, and hospitals that require an uninterruptible power supply. They even bring electricity to remote communities, offering flexible, on-demand power where a grid connection is impossible. Leading manufacturers like GE Vernova, Siemens Energy, Mitsubishi Power, Baker Hughes and Veracor are at the forefront of this technology, constantly pushing the boundaries of efficiency and performance, offering a wide range of solutions tailored for different needs and global markets. But what if you want to see these incredible engineering principles in action for yourself, right at home? For the curious tinkerer, 
let's look at mini model jet engines, functional, scaled down versions you can build or buy to safely explore these concepts. These models are not toys, they are true gas turbines, operating on the exact same principles as their full sized counterparts. They use tiny centrifugal compressors, annular combustion chambers, and axial flow turbines. You can find high quality kits online or for the truly ambitious, download plans to 3D print certain components and assemble your own. In a safe, controlled environment like a home workshop, you can conduct your own experiments. You can witness firsthand how air is compressed, how fuel is ignited to create a self-sustaining burn and how the resulting energy spins a turbine at incredible speeds, all on a safe, manageable scale. Watching a mini jet engine spool up, hearing its distinctive whine, and feeling the heat from its exhaust is an unforgettable experience. It's a fantastic hands-on project for curious minds and a powerful way to truly understand the science behind these world-changing machines. Now, after all that, let's see what you've learned. Here's a quick question for you. To withstand the extreme heat and stress inside the engine, which material is most commonly used for turbine blades in modern jet-powered generators? Is it A. Aluminum, B. Inconel 718, or C. Plastic? Drop your answer in the comments below. From the skies to the grid, jet engines have made a remarkable journey. They have evolved from symbols of speed and travel to become unsung heroes of our energy infrastructure. Their high efficiency, fuel flexibility, and rapid response make them a vital and indispensable part of today's complex energy landscape, ensuring the lights stay on for us all. If you found this overview of grounded jet technology fascinating, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with someone who might be curious. We love hearing from you, so let us know in the comments what other technologies you'd like us to explore next. Thanks for watching.